it, Leslie, obviously I don't believe this shit, but it was like someone is wishing is wishing the worst against you. They possibly are using black magic to hurt you. And I was like, I don't believe that dumb shit. <laughs> and then I flipped to the next video. <laughs> you gotta use white magic to counteract it. <laughs> right? I was like, I got a god and god a Pokemon on my side. I ain't scared of no evil bitch. <laughs> Bro, you, you should have Palmons on your side. At least they carry. Facts. They scare me. No, I thought it was cool. Uh, the last couple of days with the the Meg Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj beef, that the, the Meg Thee Stallion just posted anime pictures and shit. Oh, like, was she? she? Yeah, she posted the fucking uh, the, the Death Lily from yeah. the Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, she was wow. like, "All right, bitch," and posted the Death Lily. I was like, "Hey, yo, what's that mean?" <laughs> so I didn't listen to the song yet. They said she only said two words, and Nicki been on a twenty four hour coke rant. What she? Oh, said? it's like forty eight hours. She now. said. Megan's Law. What's That's that? all she said? Yeah. You didn't listen to the song either? No, I listened to the song. But that that's the one that, that hit because it's uh Megan's Law is hold on, I had a I was I Oh, because of Roman's earlier. rule or whatever? No, Megan's Law is a legal term for um da 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 Oh for pedophiles sex offenders and pedophiles. Yeah. yeah. Bruh. Because she was talking about Nicki Minaj's um yeah. husband. Yeah, just one. That was on it. That's all she needed. List. Boom, got him. So what? What prompted this beef? What? What? So made the her beef's been that? ongoing for I don't even know oh, how many couple years, years now? at least two yeah. years. Yeah, and they've oh, kind of so, just been like poking at each other at this. So point. So she just decided to just. Oh yeah. my god! I just saw the fucking flower. <laughs> Still on her story. <laughs> uh, Nikki said something about. Um, I'm not Tory Lanez or I'm not Iggy Azalea or something on one of her songs. I can't remember the actual line, but she mentioned the thing by saying Tory's name. And she's like, I'm not Iggy Azalea because I guess she was supporting Tory. But I guess that was a diss that I didn't know. But other than that, she's been dissing her and, and like side stuff on like Twitter and stuff. Um, so I guess this was like the the little spark that like ignited this recent um, set of Nicki Minaj just going off the rails, tweeting random shit and yeah. going on lives and like. It's not even good shit. No, it's like that's the best part about the it's whole thing. It's panicking. It's a panic comeback. Yeah, it is so unhinged that it's either a completely staged event or she's actually insane. And it's sad because Nikki just didn't. Nikki just needed to not respond. Like it, it would have just died. <laughs> like yeah. it would have went over people's heads, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was like, okay. Yeah. It would have been yesterday's news if she would have just never said anything. But it's Nikki, and she got to do something. So. <laughs> Could yeah. you imagine being her husband, just sitting oh at home God. like no, as, he's a, as a sex offender? No, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. What I fucked mean, up isekai is that? You know what? I'm gonna just. <laughs> well, I was I'm reincarnated a... as a sex offender, and now I'm married, <laughs> married to Nicki Minaj. Look, I'm, a, <laughs> nah, I'm good. I'm gonna let this one go. I was, <laughs> I was gonna try to explain it, but ain't, ain't, it's not worth the payoff. So you got it. Uh, you're right. No, but you right though, because <laughs> imagine having to listen to her rant. You on the couch just trying to watch TV, and it's technically your fault. Yep. Yeah. Because well, she can never you, win ever again. Thanks to wait, you. Wait, but do you think like he falls more in love? Because that's the definition of ride or die, right? Like, I don't her, know. She always defended him. Guess That's a bumpy, Nikki. rough ride. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, I would gladly be cleaning the toilets in that house if, uh, you know, she out here. <laughs> it's like that time you threatened Offset, and Freddie was like, "Weren't they near a playground?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I just too need to stay in the house. Nikki should have just stayed retired. Right. Yeah. Like she could never come outside. Like she retired, right? And she was like, all right, I'm about to have this baby by forever. And then mm -hmm. she was like, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> she had to let know people know she was still the queen. She every time Cardi do something, she gotta be like, mm, I gotta do something better. <laughs> and she reminded me of people. Like a cosplayer <laughs> or some shit. But so anyway. anyway. 
<laughs> Welcome to the next episode of Brotaku Block. Hey! Today we have myself, Jim Leader Brock. We have the mighty Mauricio. Back from MAGFest, but not dead yet. Hey, Prince Petty. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we have Tibzilla, aka I lost my voice because of the Crunchyroll Awards math. <laughs> yes. So for this episode today, we're going to talk about our first, hopefully not last, Brotaku Block Anime Awards. Well, when you say it like that, bro, I thought she was. <laughs> I was like, I forgot her name, dog. What? 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 Who's uh, name? What spectrum are you on, sir? <laughs> First, first you can't. Let's first reel you it can't back in. See color. Then now, yeah. <laughs> my screen is all gray. <laughs> let's let's bring it back gray, in, bud. Gray tones. He be going through it. Mm-hmm. You need a new computer. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> um, but before we get into the categories and how we got to where we got. Um, I think we're going to go through a couple updates in the anime community. Yeah. Adult Swim uh, reveals a new Ninja Kamui anime trailer. There's a new anime called Ninja Kamui coming on Adult Swim, and it's also going to come on the next day on HBO Max. Uh, looks right up our alley. So okay. Check that shit out if you haven't. Uh, and it's going to be subbed and dubbed. Is there an air date? February 10th. Oh, hey, wow. It's so right around the corner. That's soon. Yeah. yeah. Is it considered um, anime? It they said it. They they used the word anime, so we're gonna see. Uh literally anime news network is not available. So yeah, everything off the top of my head. So if it's kind of wonky, I'm sorry. Uh Final Fantasy Evan Children returns to US theaters for a limited run February twenty first and twenty second. And it's gonna Yay. be uh I think it's gonna be Advent Children Complete. I'ma be in that bitch. Same. Cause I miss Cowboy Bebop. Also it like it was released like um DVD. I never had a theatrical run, at least over here, to my knowledge. Yeah. So it'd be dope seeing that on the on the big screen. Hell, I like thought it, it did have a theat- uh, DVD release. It had a DVD release, but not a. It, I don't think it's oh, yeah, in the yeah, theaters. Right, yeah. Right, yeah, I remember when it came out. It hit the internet before the the DVD, and like it was it was the fat. Is this back when like you know stealing uh, movies was like a thing? Uh, Tactically acquiring, right? It, I remember it downloaded in like 12 minutes for me because so many people were downloading and seeding it Yeah, that that shit was wild because usually a movie would take like four hours. Uh, but anyway, uh, next up, Kyoto Court sentences man to death for the Kyoto animation arson case. So to before death. we preview, yeah, we, this, that's the update is that he got death penalty. Oh, damn. I mean, third, how do they do that people over there? Died. Yeah, I didn't know that they had death penalty over there, but well, I mean, like, how do they even go about it? Like, yeah, uh, hopefully like, in a very anime way. Katana, like, what are we doing? Making him watch a uh, sh- uh, Shield Hero. This nigga gonna be isekai'd. <laughs> Maybe some motherfuckers from uh, Hell's Paradise. <laughs> Just make him watch Black Clover. Oh, look, look, thirty-two people died, so I'm not trying to make all the jokes, but they did do yeah. that man wrong, and he snapped. So yeah, that is wild. Uh, Death penalty pretty heavy, but I mean, like when you they could have named that anime deaths. Down. I yeah. set a building on fire and killed thirty two of my colleagues, and now I've been reborn in a fantasy world. This man just said, "I don't want to make jokes." <laughs> I continue to Lord forgive me. Anyway, uh, Netflix acquires global streamer rights for Studio Ponox Imaginary the uh, sorry the Imaginary anime film. Uh, cool. Uh, is studio Ponok is the studio that was formed by the Miyazaki protege, if I'm not mistaken. So that's why, like, he did, uh, was it Mary and the Witch's Fire was their first movie. Oh, and yeah. it was very Ghibli esque. So they might be the ones kind of taking up the reins now that, you know, stuff is starting to tone down over there. Supposedly. Uh, and What's apparently, that imaginary? Uh, it's a book, but I don't know. It's I think it's an English author. Okay. I'm not completely sure about that, but uh, hmm. this isn't. They have like a multi movie deal, so their next stuff is gonna also come out on Netflix too. Oh wow, that's pretty sick. Yeah, and finally, last thing I got is uh, 
Bucci Giri's getting the English dub on January 28th yesterday. <laughs> uh, so I only mentioned that because that's the one that we think might be the sleeper hit for the season. Also, they got, Crunchy got a Witch and the Beast and Tsukamichi Moonlit Fantasy Season 2 and Hokkaido Gals uh, dubs coming. Okay. And I think Witch that. and the Beast first episode is um dubbed, but... Yeah, it is. Yeah. That news might be a little outdated then, but yeah. I was surprised that um so many shows on Crunchyroll right now had dubs. Even if it was just the first episode, I was surprised by how many had dubs already. I was like, oh, and it's shit. it's weird for the ones that don't that you think would. <laughs> they, ain't go, they ain't about to get them shits. <laughs> I mean, like they, you know, remember I was complaining about how they're not dubbing as much as they used to, mm-hmm. or like the stuff that didn't get dubbed immediately would still get dubbed in the next few months. But now it's they not stopped happening. doing that though. Yeah, yeah, they stopped doing it after the merger. So, like, it was news that Laid Back Camp Season 2 was getting a dub, and then they made sure they pointed out, like, all after the fact. Because, like, that's how rare it is now. So, anyway. Uh, that's upsetting. I, yeah. Because uh, I, I like to go back and watch, like, the stuff I... Because, you know, I, I'll pick stuff I'm going to watch now and stuff I'm going to watch later. Usually the stuff I watch later, like, I'll try to knock out real fast. Like, I'm, or it's stuff that, like, you know, that's the laundry folding uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got. Okay, a lot of good stuff coming to us soon. I did look up the uh, Ninja Kamui, and it does look pretty sweet. Yeah. I guess they announced it at uh, San Diego San Diego Comic Con in 2023. So, yeah, it looks like a Mauricio anime. Yeah, a lot of a lot of fighting, a lot blood. Of fighting. <laughs> so, 2023. Is it 2024? I guess it's 2023. It's their 2024 awards for the year of 2023. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. 2024 awards for Taku Block. So how we kind of gotten down to the selection of shows, we wanted to make sure, unlike other, you know, places. Just say Crunchyroll, shows... bro. <laughs> <laughs> unlike the notorious Crunchyroll, um, we don't want shows that necessarily carried over and finish in a season when the majority of that series was in another year. Um, or just didn't finish, yeah. Yeah. So, for instance, Chainsaw Man, which did finish in 22. Is it considered wanna... for them a 2024 20, category? Yeah. Why the fuck they do that? Weird. Yeah. Same with Bochi the Rock, which ended in December 22, which is on their award show for 20... Yeah, anyway. And then leaving off specific films. <laughs> oh yeah and then leaving off stuff like the boy and the heron leaving off um like stuff like pluto yeah their their rule set's really weird so we kind of did our own thing all encompassing we included high dive funimation crunchy roll netflix I included no high dive. all right we did but <laughs> we 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 threw everybody in the bunch and we're like out of all the shows that were available to watch for the year of 2023 who who's the best Who's the best? Um, we we kind of got our own categories going. Yeah, and then we got some some special Brotaku block essentials. Um, so yeah, we'll just start off the. Should we start from the bottom or should we start from the top? I guess that's a, another way of thinking about start it. Start from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Um, sleeper of the year. What, what are we thinking? What was the the show that surprised us the most? So my vote was my happy marriage. That was also my vote. What you have? Mr. Brock. Oh, I definitely, this one was a tough one. So I had to really sit down and think if it was a sleeper or not, because if it had enough publicity for it, I couldn't put it in the category. So I did put my happy marriage because I felt like it was one of those shows that never was really promoted. Well, you kind of saw it on Netflix. It's Netflix. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, it was there. You're like, huh? All right. What's that? And of across all of us, we're just kind of like, huh? Did y'all watch that show? And we all happened to have watched it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we all enjoyed it. So I was like, huh, all right. <laughs> yeah, like it, they, they did a promo with it. It didn't have too much discourse. I saw, the only person I really saw hyping it up was Pastel Bits. Uh, uh, shout out her and her new baby. Uh, hey, but Hazel. Yeah. I think that's the only reason I watched it was because uh, Lola heard it adjacent and she was over our house when it came out. And I thought it was ass when I was watching the first two episodes. And I was like, oh, no. (laughs) 
It just took a couple seconds for that magic to kick in. Yeah, it I did. Was like, literally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't see Mighty Mauricio having one down for this category, so I guess that's the winner. Hey. Boom. <laughs> I mean, easy. Yeah, because I wasn't voting for the same one. But my my actual sure you sleeper <laughs> was Pluto because I had no idea what it was about until I watched it. All right. So by the definition, okay. it was a sleeper for me. That's like All a right. spectrum. Uh, <laughs> but as a podcast, my happy marriage gets it. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. The votes take it. Um, next category is the most fun and enjoyable show. So this show doesn't have to be the best show of the year or anything like that, but it's just something that, you know, invoked, you know, fun and enjoyment. I, for this category, have Mashal, Magic and Muscles. I thought super funny, caught me off guard. It had a little bit of everything that I typically like in a, in a show. Um, it's comedy, but also had a little bit of seriousness in the plot. Enough to keep me invested, at least. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Uh Baki Hama for me. Hey. Because I just enjoy That was two thousand three? I I I haven't caught up. I think I have to catch up on the last bit. Or is that the last bit? I think this was the last bit. Okay. Yeah, you were telling us about it, about the T Rex and shit. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's just ridiculous, you know. I mean it's not a serious storyline, like they're just just big niggas fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but like they really enjoy it, you know? Like they really enjoy it. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Yeah, like this. There's nothing. I mean, there's nothing at stake. There's no like save the world. Or, like, no, it's literally like I'm trying to beat my father's ass and show him <laughs> that I'm better. It's it's a great show. Just if you want to watch something stupid. What do y'all got? I put down. Uh, Don't toy with me, you Miss Nigatoro and Miss Nagatoro. What you call me? Season two. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's I don't know that's a comfort watch for me. Just these two idiots uh, slowly falling in love and her harassing him, <laughs> uh, and it's funny to me. Season one was better because it had a moment in it that was like, a like when he 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 walked away with all the girls. Like that that episode was Chef's kiss, but this <laughs> one was still fun. Uh, and like just is even though it's like goofy how goofy it is it's still i always look forward to watching it like i got a smile on my face the whole time because it's just <laughs> idiotic uh-huh. <laughs> like so it. that's mine what about you prince petty uh this might shock you guys but chainsaw man no. <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> because i didn't even know it came out in 2023 wow no um i put uh the time i was reincarnated as a vending machine because it needed to be on my list somewhere, and that was the, the best fit for me. Oh, snap. Okay, we got a four-way difference. Who's going to win? How Or how will we decide this? I am willing to change anybody, my vote for Vending Machine. I was, I was about to say we can change votes. I'm going to change the Vending Machine because it, it, was, it was also stupid and fun. Yeah, I agree. When when Prince Petty brought it up and he was like, yo, <laughs> this shit's funny. And we're he like, what? Us. Yeah, as soon as he he sold us to go check it out, everybody loved it. So it's kind of like, all right, I mean, you you win, you win. <laughs> I thought it was going to be stupid, <laughs> but then it ended up being super wholesome and and like informative because yeah. I had no idea Japan had that many vending machines. To be honest, like I just didn't know. Oh, I love it! It's tons of vending machines in Japan. Yeah, kind of ridiculous, right? But also, like, it makes me wonder why we can't do better in America. I looked Why do I have to get in the car and drive to get a soda? I think it was like one vending machine per 11 people or something. Something wow. insane. Yeah. Yeah, that's wild. I mean, they got vending machines on Mount Fuji. So, damn. Yeah. I feel like it's because as a society, we as Americans or Westerners value like not walking everywhere for some reason. We do live in a society. Yeah. We do. Okay. Yeah. We have to drive every fucking where. <laughs> Sorry, man. Anytime I hear the word society. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, right? Like, we've all been at this point. You literally could, wherever your hotel, Airbnb, you could literally walk outside in in less than five minutes. Be at a convenience store. Yeah, unless you live out in the sticks. Well, yeah, but I mean, I ain't going out there. That's where all the monsters and shit are. But like, 
That's how you get stronger, Merce. It is true. It's true. But no, I can get to the lo- losses or 7-Eleven or Family Mart, uh, go to the vending machine, all in like two seconds. Like over yeah. here, I got to get in the car and drive. That's true. And there's at least like what? If I had to, if I had to guess, six to seven vending machines per uh, train stop. Yep, mm, it's a lot because there's some inside, there's some outside of it. Yep, there's some along the way to the station in between. It's the vending machines you made along the way. Exactly. Yeah, I like that. All right. All right. Worthy pick. Worthy pick. The time I was reincarnated as a vending machine is the most fun and enjoyable show of 2023. Now, next category: worst character. Of 2023. I'll go ahead and start this one. Fucking Asta. <laughs> you really put that down? I really put that. That was 2021. No, nah, bro. Uh, he's he's he talking about movie. the movie. Oh. I got a worse one for you. Oh the lizard God. man from Goblin Slayer. <laughs> what? What he do? He just whack. You big ass lizard motherfucker, and that's all you can do? You're whack. You don't have no extra strengths or powers. <laughs> or... Whack. Your powers whack. The way you have to sit in the sun to generate your own body heat whack. But me, I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> He's literally a giant lizard man. Did that's it? Like nothing right. else. He's a giant monitor lizard. It makes me. So I respectfully angry. disagree, but this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the lizard. We got Asta. I put now for me because he his whole season he just was like savior man. And those annoying shit. Oh, show your <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole cast. I mean, it is, but him just specifically, he's just like, he has like no real like character anymore. He's just, I'm saving niggas and that's it. <laughs> he is kind of floundering this season. Yeah. Like he had like his little emotions that he did have. It was like flat. Was like, okay. Look, I understand saving people. I feel like I would also be trying to save people and saving the kids and everything. But I ain't about to put them in my party. So that's also my vote. Now for me with Tommy. She what if what if he's putting them in the party as fodder? As a shield. Also, oh, that's exactly what he's doing. That's why This wild. is my shield. People shields. Slave children shields. That that's yep. that's what the that's what uh bitch is going around telling people though. He's but that's why he keeps them. Well, so All right. that one wins. Uh, yeah, now for I think also Tommy. was a very close second, though. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. you didn't watch. The lizard movie. man didn't do nothing wrong. Honestly, now that we're talking about Naofumi, yeah, yeah, like he lost all his fire. Oh, and then by default, Asta was second. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wow, Man. the Black Clover slander will never end. <laughs> Look, if you just got to episode 37, <laughs> you would understand. If they would have had another protagonist, maybe. <laughs> the Black Bulls are a great team. Yeah. I'm not watching it for the supporting character, sir. <laughs> 2023 worst character, now for me, from Shield Hero. Season three. Season three. Now, the next one would be. What show had the biggest letdown or disappointment for you in 2023? Goblin Slayer. Wow. Okay. Just came in strong. Goblin Slayer hurts you this year, I see. Shield Hero, bro. Mm. Shield okay. Hero is my vote. Well, Shield Hero for me wasn't terrible because it became a slice of life. You're the only one that liked it, though. I remember in past episodes, you're the only one that hyped it up. <laughs> yeah, it was like side quest season. I respect him. Oh uh, wait, uh, that's another joke for later on. But I was saying I respect him for defending it, being the sole defender, <laughs> just like he was for the kingdom, I guess. <laughs> so I didn't do Shield Hero this I, time. I wish we were big enough that people gave us fan art for free, and somebody would draw Mauricio as the Shield Hero. <laughs> <laughs> <Bruh>. <laughs> I gave it a little bit of hope. It was better than season two, but it... yeah, season two was hot garbage. Season three it was like, let me build my community. Oh, so it was mild garbage. Yeah, it was like leftover like fruit trash. It was like it has something there. It's more building. We're building. So it was more like compost. Yeah, it's like compost. It's, it's still garbage, but it's like we building. Not gonna lie, they <laughs> let me on. I thought that by the end of the season they was gonna have an actual fight. 
But for me, I definitely put um, Reign of the Seven Spellblades. I think I talked about it on the podcast before, but that it must have been bad because I didn't even watch it. Same. So it had a cool concept, and then they did that thing where they have a big turn, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool!" And then it went flat, and I was like, "Wow." They changed the whole I show. I do remember you talking about that because I was going to watch it at first. Then you said, "Don't bother." Yeah, and uh, yeah, it 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 was so sad. It was so sad. Like I don't want to talk about it anymore. But anyway, <laughs> um, biggest letdown show has been Shield Hero season three because I do mm. I do agree that that one took a it's it's just not it didn't live season up to four the is coming back strong. It needs to, or else the show's gonna get canned. I promise you. There's no more like there's no more community building to do. They, at this point, they got to fight. Yeah, they got to fight everybody next season. Got to yeah. fight the new city. Got to fight the dragon or the phoenix, or whatever. Got to fight, fight each other. Got to yeah, everything. So just but hopefully, I mean, hopefully it's not a training arc and it's just twelve episodes of them kids beating each other up. <laughs> <laughs> the wolves just fighting each other. <laughs> I got hope for the white tiger boy and his little sister. Yeah, I got hope for them. Yeah, they got like they're like kind of strong already. So the next category is best couple, kiss, or brodom. Mm, I don't have one for this. Uh, you go, Jim Lee to Brock. So mine is Ludius Gredat and Sylphie. Okay, I I would have picked them. I would have <laughs> picked them. I I I don't disagree completely. I would. That was my number two, and it only got beat out. By Itadori and Toto. <laughs> <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> I'd just like to state for the record that Tifron copied the majority of my list. <laughs> we just can't ha- we just can't have the same idea. We can't we're friends. We share things. <laughs> <laughs> to be to be extra fair, he did finish half this list before we put yours in here though. <laughs> <laughs> you did give me this idea. I'll give you that. <laughs> the rest is mine. I was like, oh, you right. I was about to fuck up. Oh, I can't not pick them. I'm sorry. What about right. the forced friendship between Mahito and Yuji? Nah. Mm. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's just denied. Look, Get out. This is what I have to say for that. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't his hands, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> a man of many talents. Uh so I guess that gives it. It's the Toto and Itadori for best bro ship twenty twenty three. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have best fight slash action scene for JJK. Yeah, it's it's JJK. Sir, Ricardo, but what from sure. JJK? The whole season. The whole motherfucking <laughs> season. <laughs> Every episode was a dope ass scene. Everybody did they there thing. were multiple fights. Yeah, and they were all great. Everybody yeah, was putting their life on the which, line. One, which fight? You got to pick one, bro. <laughs> uh, well, uh, uh, if you uh, <laughs> my niggas in Shibuya. Okay, that's the whole season. <laughs> all right, I got you. I got you. I got you. So look, best so boom, best total wash. Gojo turned it up on them niggas. It was like, you know what? Fuck these humans. I'm going to kill these bad guys. That shit was crazy. Because he was like, well, let me show you what I can do. When he went super speed. Yes. I was like, what is happening? Okay. That was a good one. That was a good one. That, right. was, my, uh, that was my number two. Then I will say uh, Sukuna giving uh, Fireboy uh, Jugo his props, but still killing him. That was kind of fire. Mm. <laughs> no pun intended. Um Yuji and his blood brother. That was Bro, a good how are you going to give out a whole list? Just give us I one know, fight. Right? He's going you down. One. My guy, one fight. <laughs> We've already agreed to JJK. <laughs> I think you're just excited and your echo comes in. You want JJK? K, K, K. <laughs> Look, man, I'll tell y'all. Damn. All right. All right. One fight. Yeah. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Pick one. We'll go. I'll, mine was Sukuna versus Shibuya, and y'all called me on that too. <laughs> Because Shibuya can't fight back. All right. They all died. I'll I'll pick uh Tsukuna versus Jogo. Is that his name? Okay. It's our, our, yeah, okay, yeah. The the, the demon with the lava head. Yeah. Mine was uh Sukuna versus Mahira. Okay. Yeah, same. Who's that? 
That's the uh, that was a summon uh, Fujigoro's uh, drawing Summons. there. Oh, yeah. Maharoga. Yes. Now that you know the That's two options, actually, table, would you pick one of those two? Maharaga. My bad, I said it wrong. I think you what's did. What's a what's a yours, Brock? Uh, same Sukuna Maharaga. Okay. Oh uh, well. Do you, are you going to tie it, Mar- Mauricio, or are you going to go with that one or a different one? Because they're about to win. If Shibuya could have fought back, bro, I would have. <laughs> <Look>. Right. <laughs> I mean, let's just say Sukuna left his mark. In my heart, it was Sukuna versus. Uh, that was all one fight scene, but really, he he, it was several fight scenes. <laughs> They didn't even get a. They didn't get to put their hands up to give out spirit energy to help or nothing. They just took L's. Look, mine. So I see why y'all picked that, and I like it, and I get it. I do. I get it. But I think for me, it's Yuji and Mahito mm. because, like, the Maharoga fight was like straight destruction. Like they flattened the whole motherfucking city center. Yeah. But the Yuji and Mahito fight was more like, even though it's a lower level. They were still just like going full. It was full. still a good still fight. Hands. It was a good fight. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why? I, personally, I wouldn't pick that fight because it wasn't one on one. Well, I, I wasn't even counting when Toto showed up. I mean, the whole part before where he's like, I mean, it wasn't just Toto though. Like he had a whole army come up and pull up and help. <laughs> True. Yeah. That fight was pretty traumatic too. Yeah. I don't know. That's why I say that whole man. Look, I can't pick one, so I guess y'all win. But that whole season was like. JJK just wins best fight scene. Yeah. Su- yeah, because Su- even uh, earlier in the season, fucking um, Fushiguro and Nanami fighting the lobster. Yeah. That yeah. shit was fire, too. That was a cool fight. All right, so call it Sukuna versus Maharoga. Am I saying that right? Maharaga. Ma- Maharaga. Ma- Maharoga. What? Yeah, that. <laughs> Sukuna versus the Maharaja. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maharaja. <laughs> I'm weak. Oh Look, shit. That was funny. Maharaga. <laughs> Maharaga. Yeah, my hoes. So Yeah, Maharaga. Maharaga, yeah. Which is wild because that's supposed to be like the strongest summon ever or something, right? Mm-hmm. Like that's crazy. All but I think right. Sukuna even said that he he had like a one one pinky toe out the domain. Uh, otherwise, he would have died if he was fully in there or some shit. Crazy, dude. Yeah, like, that's insane. So the next category is best supporting character. I had one for this. Where'd it go? I put Ghetto. All right. I put Adam. <laughs> because we decided he wasn't the main character. And I was like, well, he's the best supporting character then. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, my vote for supporting character was Toto Aoi. Hey. That's, yeah. That was a hard one. But overall, I don't know. Everybody got something different then. What's Mauricio got? Best supporting character. So I, I thought I wrote it down. Now I see I didn't, and that bothers me. Well, now you got to think about it. So look, I had a question, though. Can you really say Ghetto if he wasn't in control of his body? That nigga did. <laughs> now you're just doing technicalities. I don't yeah, know. Bro. That's somebody else in his head. <laughs> that man opened his skull up and Look, there was a little brain in there talking. <laughs> it's him talking, though. I mean, it's Ghetto's voice, yeah. Yeah. I'll say, um, no, I can't do it. Nope. No, I don't even have a vote. Fuck it. Wow. He's not going to say nothing. Because I don't want to, I don't want to support the fandom of the character. I want to give a vote. Oh, I already know who it is. All right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, uh, Patty, yours was Adam, Adam from Pluto. Adam. Oh, dang. Mm. So how we, who, okay. Who going, who going to flip? Got to pick one. I'll flip to Toto because I still think Adam's the main character. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair, fair. Toto Aoi. Toto wins. Best supporting character 2023. I'm not mad at that. I mean, he did support pretty hard. Yeah. He put his body on the line. He used all for one. <laughs> oh, right. Damn. He stole shit from a whole nother anime and said, I got this. I didn't do my goddamn thing. I'm surprised I haven't seen somebody put the music to it yet. They have, uh, I saw it on TikTok. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna say yo. <laughs> okay. All right. 2023's best main character. I like the kid from Dead Mount Death Play. I forgot his name, which doesn't support me in, in, in my vote, but Hold on, I'll you find his name. I'm gonna go a little bit different. 
Best main character, my vote is Ramona Flowers. Ooh. From Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. I think his name's Polko. No, so that's the body he took. Yeah. Corp- the Corpse God. The Corpse God, yeah. yeah. That's right. Okay, so we got Corpse God, which, you know, I didn't think about it, but I did watch all that show and I loved it. So fair enough. Mm-hmm. We got Ramona Flowers. Loved that too. I put um, Tendo from Zom 100. Mm. Hmm. I put uh, Isagi from uh, Blue Lock. Mm. You said for Blue Lock? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Damn. Who going to flip? We got some heavy Not me. He carried a whole team. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Look, Corpse God, I call it a reverse isekai because he came to our our world. That's true. But uh, he showed up and has been, for an isekai character, has been playing it smart. He's like, I don't know what's going on, but let me just, like, survive. And it's been a cool show. Since you also dug it, Jim Lee, did, are you going to flip? I'm tempted. Yeah, I think I will. I think I will give it to Corpse God because wow. I did love that show. Right. And he, he does play it. He's in a regular world where people are getting isekai or descendants are in it. And he's playing it safe, trying to figure out what's going on, trying to get the lay of the land because there's like a lot of weird stuff going on. And yeah, I'm liking the exploration of it. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so we call Corpse him. God it. wins. Main character of 2023. Wow. I would have never thought that was going to be a the winner, right? <laughs> uh, best slice of life. Uh, what did I have? I did not have one for this category. I didn't. Think, oh, I didn't. Anything. I don't watch any straight up slice of life, and anything that I would call a slice of life is just me being disrespectful. So, the best slice of life for me, Shield Hero. Nah, it was a uh, well. Now that you mention it, honestly, it'll be a close second. Don't do this. Okay. <laughs> the best slice of life for me is Vinland Saga. You lose that by default. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a farming sim. Give it's it. not a slice of life. So bro. you also being disrespectful. Yep. Them niggas was farming. Who got an actual slice of life? I got an actual one. <laughs> the four brothers, uh, Yuzuki. Okay. Fair what do they enough. do? Do they farm? No, bro. It was, it was the one we did last season for uh, the fall anime. It was about the um, the parents that died, and then the oldest brother has to take care of the three younger brothers. Sounds like Villain Saga. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The it's the it's the smaller TV show <laughs> on our own. Damn. So for the one I put, um, I didn't watch it, so I think Prince Petty's going to win the category by default in this. But I put Horror Mia: The Missing Pieces because I loved Horror Mia the first season, so I can guarantee that I would have loved this season. I can't say I know that horror. <laughs> Look, can your four brothers out farm Thorfinn and the German guy? No, because it's a slice of life anime. <laughs> can they chop down trees? There was an actual farming sim anime this year. Yeah. <laughs> You're bringing up Vinland Saga? <laughs> yeah. Okay, look, that farming sim versus Vinland Saga versus Short Hero. Who did the best community building? That's not a category. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just making up categories. It's like on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong, though. Yeah. Hmm. Nah, that would get my vote. Attack on Titan is community outreach. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So different. I think by default, the winner is the four brothers, Yazuki, for best slice of life. All right. Best fantasy. I have Mishoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation. Oh, me too. As do I. Ooh. I put To Your Eternity Season 2. Oh! That was that was my close second, but yeah. I put... Wait a uh, minute. Okay. Yeah. But you can change. Think about it. All right. Give us a good... Hit me with a good thing I'm a jig about To Your Eternity versus uh, Jobless Reincarnation. I'm willing to hear it because I like both of them. Huh. If I could win you over, mm. yeah. But then even if you have to win over, one of them, still be over. two. Yeah. Be two. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you, this is your time. You could try. This is my most rousing. Uh, I ain't got it in me. <laughs> That's fair. Said, I, I mean, just, like I said, that was my second. It, we got to see uh, Fushi basically like he didn't go. I'm not gonna say God mode, but he he mastered his powers in a new way, and. It got really real with like you know some of the character deaths and undeaths, 
And they were just defending that city the whole time, I think, this year. So, I don't know. Like, honestly, neither of them did a whole lot of fantasy world building to me this time around because they were mostly in one spot. Uh, so I I just gave it to, to your eternity because it was like the conclusion, even though they say now there's a season three coming and I'm like, how? But whatever. Um, where Mishoku Tensei, even though I loved it, yeah, it, it still just felt like a, not a side story, but just like a, a short little arc where yeah. to your eternity was like the capstone. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. I can see that. Mishoka Tensei did this thing this year where, like, it was mostly in the school. Yeah. So it kind of give took away from, like, that fantasy-esque, like, exploring. They went to the woods, like, for a couple episodes for, like, those two exact reasons. Oh, yeah, that first season's world building was insane. Yeah. But we, they got it all out in the first season, I guess. And they had, he isn't really adventuring this season, so. Yeah, it's it more was, about a little bit of magic. Yeah. For, uh, the relationship building for the characters you kind of know in that season. That's so. about his advancement, really. Yeah. So he could get better after getting bodied in season one. So and training dying. arc, romance arc. And that's yeah. fun. Just if I had to put mm. the two together, that's that's why I picked uh, To Your Eternity. The real shame is that we can't say free run. Yes, because I'm glad you pointed that out because it's still still going. It's still yeah. ongoing. That would be the automatic landslide winner. <laughs> I, I I wrote it down and then I had to delete it out because I was like, wait, no, it's still yeah. So I guess right, so I guess we'll we'll give best fantasy to Mishoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation. It's gonna be good or not good, or it's gonna be something next year mm-hmm. if Freerun wins it after a whole year of like holding the title. Like if we give it to Freerun off of winter twenty twenty four. And then nobody, no fantasy comes along and then knocks her out. That's crazy. Yeah. I can see it happening, though. It's just that unique compared to, like, what's been coming out. Yeah. I don't know. I like the food dungeon thing so far. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, we'll see. I uh, like that one, too. It has a, a good team on that one, too. Mauricio, you, you, uh, what'd you decide? I'm, I don't know. You make a good argument. I mean, but. This is it is what it is. I'm not. <laughs> so what it is for me is they 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 get they both give two very different satisfactions. Like yeah, yeah. Mushoku Tensei is like even when it's bad, it's still fun because it's still like a dude fucking shit up. Um, but then like this season was him fine tuning his craft and trying to get some cheeks. So it was like this is cool. But then to your eternity is like. I always feel a little bit empty inside. Like I need, I need some more water, <laughs> but like in a good way where it's like, man, that water was good. Yeah. I'm still thirsty. I don't know. I don't know. Well, For the sake of time, I'm going to just let it go. But so, but damn. Best fancy winner is going to be jobless reincarnation then. But there's room for to your eternity for sure to be in that conversation worthwhile. Yeah. It's like vote for president. It's like, this is the the guy I probably should vote for, but would the other one have like made my taxes better? I'll never know. So best comedy. I don't have one. That's crazy. Me and Denzel have the same one. Yeah, we will have Mashal. Oh, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Yep. <laughs> so funny enough, I thought you said lived, but then my brain knew you said lift. Lift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine was Miss. Uh... Nigataro season two. So. Stop calling me that. <laughs> oh, man. She's just a light skinned baddie. Leave her alone. <laughs> Black adjacent, actually. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, based off the, the voting. Unless you want to make an argument, even if he did, like nah, Marie- nah. oh, you mean Tiff? My bad. Yeah, Tiff. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, got it. So, Mashal Magic and Muscles, Muscles <laughs> said Muscles, Muscles. <laughs> <laughs> and the next category is even easier because it's a resounding. Everyone put the same exact thing for best action. Oh yeah, there you go. True, best action. <laughs> there, here's your time, Maurice. <laughs> JJK. Hey. The whole. Motherfucking season. There you go. Shibuya art. 
Shibuya lost, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> Bro, yeah, that shit was wild. Was like, like we've talked so much shit. Uh, there's nothing more we can really say about that. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the story. Otherwise, we'd be a JJK podcast. It was so so much that like Attack on Titan is just like, hey, we, by the way, we ended, and we're like, yeah, hey, good job, right? Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that's nice. The Pikachu here. patting the back, like, yeah, <laughs> that's like, you're not really listening. That's crazy. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Y'all ended. <laughs> that's funny. That's a hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, brother. brother. Yep. <laughs> So the next category is best character design, which is pretty unique because you can kind of take this any way you kind of want. I know for me and Tiff, I think we put Scott Pilgrim takes off. I did yep. too. All three hey. did. Yep. I put nope. Hell's Paradise. Wow. Do you know why I wouldn't put Hell's Paradise? It's because like it's, on there, it's huh? Mappa and it's the same as all their other ones for the most part. You know what I mean? Like I don't hate it. Like it's not bad. But but it's also not. It's not unique. Yeah, isn't it Paradise Mapa? I don't know. But I mean, I like the, the actual, like, individual characters' designs. They all, like, they're the same theme, but they all look different. Nobody really repeats anybody. Yeah, it's Mappa. They all kind of Mappa didn't design designs. the characters. They just animated it. I mean, yeah, but True. when you think of... I guess when you think of character design, you don't think of the manga, though. You're not looking at the manga. You're looking at the anime. There's a, like, you can look up and see who designed the characters... And like that counts to an extent. I guess it depends on the anime, really, because sometimes yeah. they'll lean into the actual character design, especially if it's unique. But if it's generic, then sometimes they just leave it up to the studio to do it. So like, uh, like then like remember like Kate Kogeus like has a specific character design, like you know yeah. they're all tall and skinny. Uh, but then like Bones, a lot of Bones anime, they the characters tend to look similar mm-hmm. uh like soul leader uh but then sometimes True. they they don't Fire all Force. do that though yeah yeah so you could tell sometimes they kind of like sometimes you could be like oh that's a bones anime just by looking at the characters but sometimes it's you know they kind of vary like studio trigger was sometimes does it where like you know they the characters look like killer killer grin or whatever mm-hmm. but sometimes you get kiss niver which don't mm-hmm. look like a typical uh, trigger, so, right? Yeah, but yeah. Good point. Funny enough, as an aside, I googled it to see who it was, and YouTube videos popped up, and it said two of them were like talking about how is it a bad animation? <laughs> yeah, for Hell's yeah. Paradise. Yeah, like it's like unprompted. Yeah. I went to just Google the show in the studio, and then like two two of the five videos I recommended were about the bad animation. I was like, wow, okay. Was it bad animation? I didn't think it was bad. I just think... No. I mean, but these are also the same weebs that shit on Jujutsu guys in season two. For its, its so minute issues. Yeah, like sometimes <laughs> it's on purpose. It's artistic. Right. Yeah. And it's Mappa, so it's definitely probably artistic. You're saying artistic, right? I said artistic. That's what I heard, too. Yeah, yeah I just said these niggas got some 8K vision or something, because what the fuck? I think I think they just don't they're they're either small brained or, or something because like they 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 see something like Demon Slayer, like think of uh, like yeah. like like the Rengoku or the, or the Tengen fight right, and then they're like okay if it doesn't look like that then it sucks or like if it's lower not lower quality but like less details equals mm-hmm. bad which or isn't glossy. true yeah show me your Deviant Art fan page and show me you can do better. Right. These are the same <laughs> damn deviant art. These are the same people who go to a convention and stand in the middle of the hallway and don't think they should move to the side. Like I'll always fight these people because like that's something I love when the when the fight scene gets so nuts that the the the, it gets blurry. the design yeah it gets blurry or stretched out or like the runny egg effect like uh like uh Uata. Yeah, like I love that. And they're like, oh yeah. the quality dropped. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Devil May Cry, <laughs> baby, like yeah, all all the ones that do that, classics to me, like every single one. Exactly. So, well, anyway, to bring it back, I guess by unanimous vote, since only one person voted against it, best character design goes to Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. Great anime on Netflix. Super. I don't know how else to to give accolades. I mean, it's just 
Is he still simping? I said it before, but I'll say it again. It, if you would just a, go watch it, Maurice. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> it's, it's a great it's not the same companion thing. piece to the movie. It's not just a rehash of the movie. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I mean, I like the movie. Yeah. So I'll probably go watch it's, it. It's like it expands on the movie. Yeah. Honestly, I just... It's funny. It's not. I didn't watch it. I didn't. How you say that word? I didn't not watch it on purpose. You just probably missed the initial wave when yeah, it came exactly. out, and then you forgot yeah. about it because we all stopped talking about it. Yeah, and yeah. I was working and shit. Yeah, that goes. Yeah, thanks. So, all right, we're starting to get to the the big, big, big. What's the word? Categories. So, best animation from the year. JJK. Okay. Mappa, even with that, even with that one episode, Mappa put their whole foot in that shit this season. I'm putting Attack on Titan. I'm swapping mine. Okay, Mappa still wins. <laughs> uh, we should have done mean, by studio. Mappa wins, <laughs> but the animation yeah. animators don't. They ain't right. seen their families <laughs> in six Damn. months. That's a dark anime. What a horrible isekai. We got a JJK. We got an well, Attack on Titan. Got... Ooh, who put Attack on Titan? That was uh, that was me. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay I score okay. boy over there. Uh, mm-hmm. Which, honestly, I get. Yeah, I'm not mad though. But my answer is still JJK. Just, I, 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 I thought about flipping it to Attack on Titan when you said it, and then I stopped myself because I was like, now nah, I have to stand up to those assholes who were like, the quality drop <laughs> for the one episode. <laughs> so this was a tough one for me to think. I put three different shows down because just to show my thought process of how I was categorizing it. Um, I put Pluto, Demon Slayer, and JJK as my three that I would have considered for the top. Yeah, okay. um, I think I had Pluto on too many things, so that's why I took it off. <laughs> that's why I agree. Uh, not coming up, we'll find out that I also put Pluto for a lot of things. Um, Demon Slayer, I didn't get any noms for anything else, and I felt like that was an appropriate category since they do put a lot of money into that budget for that. Um, so I'll probably stick with Demon Slayer for my pick even though I do love JJK's animation and based on the voting, I'll probably win the category for our group. UFO table. <laughs> you foldable. <laughs> Maurice had JJK too, right? Yeah. I think it's two JJK's. It's and AOT and, and uh, Demon, Slayer. Demon Slayer. Yeah. Yeah. JJK gets it. There you go. JJK, the best animation of the year. Which feels like, let me just circle this back. It feels like JJK was picked at least on Tefron's part. <laughs> Just to shit on the people that said it had bad, bad animation, but like from a personal opinion, of all the anime you watched of 2023, <laughs> that was a tiebreaker. But I, I didn't think about that until you brought up Attack on Titan, and we just talked about it. But that was JJK was my original pick anyway. So, in another show, I thought about picking, I didn't pick because I don't want to support the show. And that's not like in a negative way. It's just I don't think it deserves the hype it gets. And that's Oshi no Ko. <laughs> I do think it's animated well. Like the eyes are always highlighted. It's beautiful. But I don't like it enough to ever give it a nomination for anything. <laughs> I got you. I thought you were going to say Kenshin with the way you were going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. I love Kenshin too, though. We're going to do next. We're going to do. Just to the creator. Exactly. Exactly. Best opening. Wait, hold on. Oh, opening. Yep. I had my out of order. No, yours is probably in order. I don't have those categories because I don't have any for best opening or best closing. So oh. I put Blue Lock. All right, Blue Lock. Um, and I wasn't sure if we would be able to count the um, part one opening, but part one and part two were both bangers. So Because okay, okay. part, part two is what technically aired in 2023, and that was um, the opening was Judgment, and that shit was on point. So. I put, uh, sorry, I put Tengoku Daimakia, uh, Innocence Arrogance, uh, by Bish. <laughs> yeah, Bish. Uh, <laughs> that's my vote. Tokyo Revengers. We can't three. count that, bro. We can't count because that's the same. No, because it's a carryover from season two. I didn't vote him for last season. <laughs> no, we didn't either. Brother. <laughs> Such a technicality. You know what I'm saying? Chaotic. I just honestly, I don't even rem- now that you say it. Yes, I remember being season two. However, this is the only show I actually listened to the opening this season, every episode. Mm. Okay, so that's your lazy pick. <laughs> no, nah, I really thought it was a good song. 
That's like me saying Attack on Titan. The ending is good too. Yeah, but yeah, Attack on Titan didn't even have an opening because it was just the. Did it? Like, I don't remember it actually having an opening song for the two parts. Yeah, this part didn't. Oh, they didn't have any. They didn't have the OG or the season four nope. opening for it? No, no, no it was straight into, into chaos. It. Which Damn, part yeah. of season four? Is? Yeah. Well, part, you know what part, part three or part Attack four? Attack on Titan's opening theme song this season was The Screams of the People. Yeah. yeah. The, the <laughs> it really rumbling was. was part one. The rumbling was, but not like I the forgot rumbling, it was the part song. two, but the, the last part three two was bits, like the screamo crazy one. I don't yeah. think had had songs. No, Maurice was right. It was the literal rumbling. Oh, <laughs> not yeah. the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Screams of terror and things being yeah. destroyed. Which I mean, if you're into that, <laughs> I mean, maybe it's like my my rainforest at night that people listen to to go to sleep. It's the rumbling. <laughs> Did we win uh, Denzel over with any, or are we going to flip? Uh, well, Maurice's don't count, so it's just. Me uh... and Tiff. <laughs> Well, hey, if that's the categories, and I'm going blue lock, baby. Let's go. Right. Hey. <laughs> go. Which one did you, what song was the, you said it was Judgment? Judgment. Yeah, blue lock season two uh, opening, or part two, um, the Judgment. But part one's my favorite, so. Yeah. But I didn't know if we were specifying and counting between, because it was a carryover season. I mean, it counts. It aired, that, I mean, it aired this, uh, this year. But I mean, because it part one had a different opening than part two did, and part one aired in twenty twenty two, at the end of twenty twenty. Oh no, I see what you're saying. Twenty three. Yeah, I yeah. want to count that. But okay, that's why I put both. I was like, well, both the ops were op. <laughs> but all right, so best opening, Judgment by Blue Lock. What about best closing? What are we thinking? Tokyo Revengers. I'm going to flip mine to that. I had uh, because that's the rock one, right? Yeah. Yeah, but did that uh, change from season two? That's yeah. what I was asking a, a second ago. I don't remember. I don't that think being... it did, bro. Okay, then I don't know. Well, let, let me look it up real quick. <laughs> okay, let me, let me check because my my original one was "Never Fear" by Mao Abe from Nin, Ninchin Fujin. I don't even know if I'm saying that shit right. I, I hated that anime, but <laughs> the <laughs> the ending was was kind of sweet. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ninchin Fujin, Ninchin Fujin. I like the Say My Name, the Tokyo Avengers one. Oh, dang. So, Say My Name. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, uh, you're right. It had, the, the closing was different for season See, two and season three. Okay, okay. So, so Say My Name is, is new, but for whatever reason, they kept the same opening. <laughs> all right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's easy. Closing. What did I put? Uh, oh, Vinland Saga. Really? Yeah. You had a song? Yeah. So I'm actually going to go listen to it for two seconds. Yeah. Interesting. Actually, I almost put that as my opening, too. But Say My Name goes hard as a closing song. Like, yeah. Vinland Saga's closing is more fitting for what the season's about. Gotcha. So it's, like, subtle well, and sounds all so slow and sad. And stuff. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not mad at that. That's, that's a drastic To change. be fair, Tokyo Revengers closing should have been the opening <laughs> for season three. Probably. Probably. <laughs> like, how do you go that hard for a fucking closing song? <laughs> <laughs> they probably fucked up. Hulu, whoever fucked up. Right. <laughs> they were like, for real oh, this is going to be the new opening. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the winner for best closing is going to be Tokyo Revengers, Say My Name. Wow. Say so I guess name, as a question, say my name. did you finish Vinland Saga? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, I did. I didn't watch the second core. It was great. Somebody did the. Oh, two people did. All right, bet. Yeah, I'm still shocked curious. that it had two different dubs. Like you blew my mind when you told me that. Tiff. Like that's fucking wild that Netflix has its own dub and Crunchyroll does. And I was crossing before both of them and didn't even pay attention to it, bro. <laughs> does either dub have Viking accents? No. Nah. Oh, it's all the same generic. Yeah. Okay. It would have been kind of cool if they're gonna do two. So next category, best original anime. Wait, we skip a score. Uh, did anybody have score? Did anybody have that, a score? Or is that yeah? The I had score. Took off? Oh, okay. I had score, but I don't know if we took it off. Add one for score too. Okay, let's go. Who got score? Best score. You want to go to? Yeah. Uh, for score, I had Scott Pilgrim again. Ooh. I have Pluto. Okay. okay. Marisa, you got one? Nah. All right, we're the tiebreakers. We got to figure it out. Let me um, put my case for Pluto, and then Tiffany, you can put your case for Scott Pilgrim because Scott Pilgrim was my second, but like. Pluto really puts you in the scene of where it's at. It, and it has this weird, like, 
like detect like that old school detective vibe mm-hmm. um where it's also jarring it kind of puts you where you need to be score wise that was the only reason i picked it scott pilgrim was too easy because it's just like it's it's a it happy fun. hipster yeah, yeah yeah fun yeah so i don't know i'll Pluto flip, just really I'll flip it. for you because Pluto was my number two <laughs> and Scott Pilgrim was my number one. And for you, Pluto was number one and Scott Pilgrim was number two. But you're right. Like, Scott Pilgrim's was fun and everything, but Pluto really helped the mood and the, the yeah. weight the yeah. of the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Even the you're opening, right. bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. I'll flip to Pluto. So, Pluto, winner, winner of the best score. I'm not mad at that. Not mad at that at all. All right, let me see. Now we're on best original anime. Pluto. Okay, we got a we got a Pluto. I put Blue Lock. We got a Blue Lock. And my reasoning is <laughs> because Pluto was on everything else. Fair. And I mean, like Pluto could have just been a three part movie series, and it's still I still would have watched the shit out of it. But I don't know. <laughs> like, I mean, that's what it felt. Pluto like. was one and done too, though. So okay, is it an original if it was adapted from Astro Boy? Ooh, that's a good argument. Well, it, it's it was adapted from a manga, from from adapted from Astro and from Boy. Astro Boy. Yeah, I get uh, what he's saying though. Like uh, Blue Lock is an original idea though. We are. You said. Uh, I'm sorry, I got the story. You said we're on original anime. Mine was Revenger. Which one was Revenger? <laughs> uh, in like feudal Japan, uh, there were these. They they called them Revengers, like folks who basically assassins like if you uh are about to die and you bite down on a gold piece and like they'll get revenge for you on the people who killed you oh it's kind of like hell girl something like that yeah mm. yeah uh, okay except, except it's not supernatural at all but yeah um that's honestly i mean it was good it was good it wasn't amazing but all the other stuff that i loved didn't qualify as original so it kind (laughs) of made its way to the top true because i guess pluto is not original because it was based off of something that was written yeah hmm hmm does that mean blue log doesn't count because it's based on soccer no (laughs) no 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 no, no. you're funny (laughs) trying to think they didn't invent soccer (laughs) then i guess i have to change my answer to blue lock then hmm it is what it is hmm what about you, Mauricio? What do you? What I didn't do you get think? to watch Blue Lock or Revengers, so I gotta stick with Pluto because I don't have a better answer. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Blue Lock. So Blue Lock it is. Are we yes, sir. Yeah, I guess we're just we're locking in Blue Lock for Sox. best original <laughs> anime, <Okay. laughs> twenty twenty three. I need to go watch this football show. <laughs> watch what? This football show. Football. Oh, football. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. You used to watch the football. Next category is best animated film or anime film, if you want to really get technical with the words. Let's give it to Tiffron to start. Yeah, Jeez. Tiff, what's your, what's your idea? You know? <sighs> the boy and the heron. Because hey. I don't watch anything else. I, go, I watched the Black Clover <laughs> one. And I know you're gonna laugh at me because I'm not voting for it, but I'm I'm mad that it wasn't the ending that they originally said it would be, and it just ended up being another uh, annoyance, another sh- Jesus, another shonen, <laughs> typical shonen extended episode movie, you know, yeah. may or may not be canon, who knows, who cares? Uh, yeah, damn, yeah. Is that my hero treatment. Now, my, my born the heron, it didn't hit as hard as a lot of other Ghibli movies did for me, but yeah. it was still good. And I, and I want to rewatch it cause it just, it didn't quite click with me the way I thought it would have, but it was still good. It was, still... I like the voice acting a lot. Oh it's just, yeah. Like Robert yeah. Pattinson, I watched it dub and yeah. like he did the thing where it was, I never would have guessed that was him. If I didn't know, if I didn't already saw it like facts. So for me, I think the boy and the heron did make it because it it's kind of same to your point where it didn't really hit the same. And I was like, well, and I, I like the dub. Don't get me wrong. But I was like, maybe it wasn't portrayed as well because I didn't watch it in sub and I missed some weird nuances. And that's why it didn't hit. So I'm like, I need to go back and rewatch it in sub. But yeah, just I don't know. I wanted it to hit. And then it, it wasn't just me. <laughs> like me yeah. and Tina were like, oh, 
okay, there, there's other the people movie. who's saying the same thing we're saying, yeah. and they watch yeah. it sub too. So I was like, okay, so we're and damn, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I could you can tell it was like a depending on who you were, did it have meaning? Because I to y'all's point, I walked out the same theater as other people, and there were people crying, and I was like, from what? That's what I was saying. Maybe because of the connection of the actual stuff in the movie. It was a very personal thing for yeah. from Hayao Miyazaki. And like there was characters that are pretty much real life people. And if you know enough about his story and stuff, you could pick who. So yeah. I guess if you had dealt with similar things, it might have hit. And right. Just... Like if you experienced loss potentially in some of those themes that he was talking about. I could see why it hit different. I think it'll. I think if I watch this in like thirty more years, like it might be my favorite thing ever. <laughs> but mm-hmm. yeah, I'm not quite there yet. I'm not. I'm so. just saying the only anime I've cried to this year was Godzilla <laughs> minus one. <laughs> minus black and black white. And white. <laughs> Godzilla minus minus one, color. color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> color. And minus black and white. I cried to both. I watched that clip you sent us, and I was a little bit disappointed that they didn't slip in the color for the atomic breath. Ah, uh, yeah. I was yeah. like, I was holding out hope that they would just do that, just just little little glimpse. Yeah, I will say it was good though. Like, I, I went with two guys that I didn't even see the original. Like, yo, this was fucking amazing. So, and that was just some black and white. That's good. Nice. So that's how I know it was a good movie overall. All right. But get back them, to the, their the categories. <laughs> would you put uh suzumi for best animated film i definitely put suzumi as well i think the journey we went on was really really fun i probably would have put that for best animation as well now i'm thinking about it fair enough it's that motoko shinkai mm-hmm. or mokoto shinkai not not ghost in the shell shinkai <laughs> it's a different movie <laughs> so the two of y'all got suzume y'all got it Maurice, did you have one? Episode one of Pluto. Uh, <laughs> All right, on to the next category. <laughs> this mother. If you would have said Oshi Doko, I would have given it to you. Cause that thing is like an hour long. <laughs> I mean, Pluto wasn't like an hour and a half. The first episode was. Uh, fair. I really thought it was a movie. Then it was like next episode. And I was like, wait a minute. Hold up. <laughs> you got hoodwinked. So, best film 2023 goes to Suzume. It's on Crunchyroll. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good watch. So, best new series, twenty twenty three. So means... here, here's a question, right? Because I saw, I saw what you put, uh, Gym Leader. Yeah. Um, is this like just in general? Because does it have to be ongoing, or is it just because yours, yours is kind of weird. I think the way I would think about best new series, because I messed up the best um, original. So best new yeah. series is it didn't. This started in twenty twenty three. Like, okay, so it doesn't matter. Because I mean, like, yeah. if I had done that, I would have. I would have had the same thing as you when I was like, oh, I don't know. So I changed mine up. What would the made? What would make Pluto new? Not new, just the fact that it's not really like it's a one and done thing. Like a series means it's like for me, it's like is it ongoing? Like, are we getting another season? Like, no, a series just means it's not a movie. Yeah, yeah. Because TV shows are series and they have one season. Then yeah, I just went too deep into the weeds on that one. Yeah, I mean you can still keep your answer if you want. <laughs> yeah, well, just to be different. So I put Pluto just to put it out there. But is it a series? Shut up! <laughs> just, don't be putting us back at the beginning of the conversation. <laughs> I put uh, Hell's Paradise. I put okay. Hell's Paradise too. Wow! I like Hell's Paradise, bro. I don't know. Maybe we were watching two different things. That's you know they got a dub now. <laughs> my uh, my answer was Tengoku Daimakio, Heavenly Delusions. I hey. don't need to watch that. What's that about? Delusions. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> From heaven. Like uh, an apocalyptic <laughs> J- Japan. Or not really apocalyptic. I mean, it's like post apocalyptic Like something happened. Uh, oh, okay. And like now there's like monsters and shit. And there's like an outside. And... Yeah, it's, ah, it's interesting. Okay, okay. Didn't know I was going to be in a world where Hell's Paradise was going to win something here, but so, I mean, that Dead Corp shit won earlier too. So, surprises all around. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess best new series goes to Hell's Paradise. Wow, it's got a lot of potential. 
Good for you. Good for that. I don't normally agree with Maurice. No though, shade but. at all. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it did get a lot of hype. So I, I'm, I get it. Hey man, it's got ninjas and pretty colors and titties. Then, you know, I don't even like the titties because you don't know who they belong to all the time. Facts. But <laughs> I just thought I'd say because it, it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll leave that right there. <laughs> best continuing series. I'm on an island and I'm in a minority on this, but I mean y'all already know what I'm gonna say. Yeah, Naruto. Um, nah, fuck you. One piece. I'm surprised <laughs> you got Boruto up there. You should go perform Seppeku or something. I don't know. My man put Boruto. <laughs> but is I liked it. The the ending of the season was good. It made me want to read the manga, even though everybody... I will never forgive them for a hundred over a hundred episodes of Bor- Boruto. Boruto <laughs> ended. No, no. The... Or is it just the the the, the art? It's on break. It's the oh. way that Naruto is the manga, but then Shippuden is the second part. Yeah, they're about it's to like hit their that. second arc, which will be another two hundred episodes of filler. So, is it? Oh, is there any episodes coming out this season? Oh, like this year? Yeah. Probably. They didn't yeah, say when it was coming back, but I think it no. is. So Boruto as an anime is finished, and the next one is Boruto 2 Blue Vortex. Okay, that's what I was asking. I was like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Damn. So technically, it's a brand new series, I got and it's not up. continuing. No, it's not, because it it's been going since like 2019. <laughs> it's Degrassi, the new next generation. You can't count OG Degrassi. Well, Boruto, the next one next year would be a new season. He just really hate series. Boruto. I know. I, don't, I, I fucking love the manga. It's great. I hate the anime. <laughs> okay, so what we got so far? One Piece and Boruto. One uh, Piece and Boruto. Marie's got My Hero. Okay, respect, respect. Uh, What was mine? Uh, JJK. Oh, yeah. JJK? Well, I mean, it's pretty good. So we basically hit every one of the shonens. Who, who go for yeah. it? We, we skipped Demon Slayer. If we had a fifth, if we had the fifth person on the podcast, they could have picked Demon Slayer. Yeah, but, which is funny that no one did pick it. Yeah, so I, I thought about it. I mean, it. Here's my thing with this season's Demon Slater, the Slater, uh, <laughs> Slater. <laughs> from here's my thing with this season's <laughs> Slater, Christian Slater. Uh, yeah. uh, Entertainment District. That Tengen fight was so insane, and this one still had great quality. Mm. It just didn't make me lose my my shit like like the Tengen fight did yeah and it was still good and we it, learned it new was, things it was just such a tentpole yeah it was just such yeah. a tentpole that Tengen fight like I remember watching it and like I was screaming and like like my mom lives with us and she came out thinking something was wrong and then she saw me on the couch like losing my mind and she looked at the TV and was like oh and walked back inside <laughs> 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 oh, oh, was, oh, he watching Goku. Okay. <laughs> so I'm back. <laughs> I'm dead. So I there he goes watching Goku. his Pokemans again. <laughs> but yeah, like I was, I, I was losing. I lost my damn mind. Like I remember, I, I changed my Facebook cover and my photo and shit. Like I didn't do that this time. So I, you know, you know. it could be that the luster is just wearing off, or just that Tengen fight was such a tentpole for me that. They just couldn't hit it again. And I'm sure they might hit it again. But, you know, My Hero did the thing where it started to go through lulls. And then every once in a while, we get, like, a really dope thing. And then we hit some more lulls. So, Yeah, I think oh, this season just here. didn't measure up comparatively to the last season. And to Mauricio's point he was about to make, it's going to get up there again. I it's got just, you. This, oh, is that, this is that season. I, f- where, I figured. You know, also, like, I watched it after the fact. And then nobody spoiled nothing for me because nobody talked about it. So that's yeah. another thing. Like it was honestly only two things happened, like he went to the sword vill- uh, swordsmith village, mm-hmm. and then they got into the fight. Yeah, it's because in the manga this that was a very short part. Yeah, it shouldn't have been a whole season. I was gonna say from a manga reader's standpoint, even though we're an anime podcast, I think that's why it didn't like because I read both and then I went back and actually watched uh, season two. Um, it just it doesn't hit the same even from from the story and plot standpoint it didn't deserve a, an entire season yeah. crazy enough this is where although they they're, they're not doing this they're doing the thing where they do the first three episodes in a movie this would be a great opportunity for them to do the a movie. swordsman village as a movie as a movie and, and then that leave would it. have been a yeah. great yeah because honestly standalone they could have <laughs> cut it down and it could have been like like the freaking rengoku 
Yeah, uh, the, literally, the, the, this would have been a great, yeah. great way to do this, and it could have been a two-hour movie. Just put it all in there and call it a day. Don't make yeah. it a season continuation. Just continue with the next part. Yep. Yeah. So. But it is what it is. So anybody, one piece. That? All right, everybody, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> glad we all agree budget after we just shit on demon slayer for like five minutes <laughs> yeah. we know it's not demon slayer no facts Wait, what was our uh, one piece boruto my hero and jjk jjk, JJK. i'm gonna I'll... stare at mauricio and wait to see if he flips to jjk i can't hey like dark deku too much not the dark deku no. but, but the fight before dark deku yep that whole first but yeah. that was he might make me flip. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, I man. refuse. Wano arc. Look, man. Look, all of JJK season two was amazing. Yeah. First half of My Hero season six. Insane. I wish Amon was on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Calling a friend to change the you exactly. know what? I'll I'll do it for the mod spirit. I'll go one piece. Wano arc wins. <laughs> <laughs> is Ahmad into One Piece? Oh, big time! What? One of the few people I know that's kept with One Piece since like I used to shit talk him before I started watching it. Facts. Oh damn! Still kind of. Was, he bit. he was there for the dark ages where Dang. I would just be like, I'm not watching. He won you over. You joined off. the Straw Hats. Damn. I did. He talked no jutsu to you. Yeah, he hit me like one of the Mormon groups. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, twenty years old. That's crazy. And it's not like I didn't watch it when it originally aired. Like, I watched it, and then I, I stopped during the Skypea thing, because Skypea is still shit, and I still hate it. Uh, so I just never went back. And then I finally went back and caught up. So There you go. That's all right. So best continuing series goes to One Piece. All right. I'm not mad at that at all. I mean, one thing One Piece is going to do is continue. Hey. Hey, <laughs> I mean, we're coming to an end. We're in the last 100 arc. episodes deep almost, so. But we are in the last arc. <laughs> It might be a couple of years, but it is coming to an end. So they say. And then we get to restart it all over again on Netflix. Yep. So, <laughs> Well, I think they're only doing the first like two or three arcs or some shit. I think they're only doing East Blue. So oh, far. for the animated one or the live action? The new one. The new animated one. Oh, okay. So far. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know. They'll probably do it until the ratio change. <laughs> Right, that's what I'm saying. The, like, the they, they may try to get paid for the rest of his life. He about to get paid off of the OG anime and the Netflix anime, double dipping, yeah, live action, triple dipping, triple live action, triple dipping. They don't have it. movies coming out. Secure the commas, <laughs> Oda. Secure the commas. Oda gonna make another anime in ten years. The one like piece 30. is his bank account. That's what it is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the big one, anime of the year. An anonymous oh outroar. I'll give Tifron this one to say just because I think we all fell in line on him on this one. Oh, shoot. I just saw that. Yeah. Anime of the year. Drum roll, please. Wait, are we all on the same page? Yeah. Oh, you're right. Um, yeah, we're literally we, all on the same page. We don't even have to fight. Anime of the year. I don't know if that's a drum roll or not, but. Close enough. Uh, Pluto. <laughs> But is it for the same reasons? Ooh. Does it matter? <laughs> it well, made the list. About it. I mean, if you want to explain about. yourself, you can. Why, why'd you pick it, Mighty Mauricio? I picked Pluto because I think. Oh, no, I don't think. I feel. We know this. Oh, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel that Pluto is a one and done and there won't be a season two. And if that is the case, it deserves the year slot. Because it's not coming back. It had one chance to do its thing, and it did it, and it's done. Okay. Respect. Do it for the one shot. I gave Pluto the nod because I felt like every episode was quality. It almost every episode, even though there was an overarching plot, every episode kind of had like a mini plot that I was drawn into. I liked the tone that they chose for every episode. Some were a little bit more lighthearted than others, but overall it was kind of dark. Um, love the animation, love the characters, love character design. Like, there's not anything I can say negatively about Pluto other than the fact that the episodes are long as shit. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that once you get past like the third or fourth episode, though. That'd yeah, be... and that's like, and if, for, if that's the only ep the negative, I enjoyed the fact that they're long as shit. 
I can't. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, I dealt with the long episodes because it was good. So I couldn't. I can't really be mad at it because it was good. If it was bad and long, then I would have been hella mad. If, right. if every Shield Hero episode was an hour, I would have been. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't. Uh, and it was just so deep. Like that's the shit I like to think about. Like stuff that really yeah. gets me thinking. Like it's not just. I mean, nothing against stuff that's just like fun or just the action or whatever. But like it was, it really like had got me in my head. Like, uh, and that's some dope stuff. And like, yeah. this is a couple of stories. I'm not going to say I'm writing any books because they ain't pick up a fucking pen yet. But like, <laughs> the books I want to write is like shit like this. Mm-hmm. And it's, it, it's so neat. Like, I thought about it. So I've been thinking about Pluto for like three months man it's <laughs> uh yeah i think that showed the, the soldier robot that was playing the piano like, yeah I think that episode made me cry bro i man. was like damn depression every episode <laughs> depression every episode his hands are still protecting us yeah epsilon bro like uh ah yeah look he never fought he said they they, they no. were like he said he came out like nah like why well, i'm not doing this and then, even then, when he got to his part, he still did some. Sh- uh, yeah, because I, I feel like not yeah. enough people watched it. I'm not going to full on spoil it, but like Epsilon, yeah, that he got me too. Yeah, man, mm. so good with the little yeah. Maurice looking child. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> reflect upon your views on humanity. Just kept saying the same word over and over again, and then saying that song. Yeah, even even the. I can't remember his name right now. Even like the villain robot. This shit was funny as hell. Yeah. Pluto? <laughs> You're funny. Um, I meant the one that was helping the detective. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant Pluto. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's definitely. I don't see enough people talking about it. Mauricio it called it the, the robot in the basement talking shit. Yeah, and then yeah, like yeah. the other twist, oh, okay. which I mean, are we talking about spoilers for Pluto, or are we we hold now? I mean, we can probably say a little bit. Don't spoil the yeah, whole show. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to spoil it if you ain't watched it yet. God. I mean, homeboy, not knowing that he was a robot. Oh, like well, that? Who was that? What do you mean? Who was that? Did you finish? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I was about to be. <laughs> I was like, like what? scared for you. <laughs> I was like, who didn't know they were a robot? That'd be some bullshit. I'm about to spoil it. Hold up. And they're in the face. I said, wait. I don't remember that part. <laughs> he fell asleep during that part. I'm like, think it was the whole show. How you missed that? <laughs> I will say it's uh, weird as shit that these robots got like houses and families and shit. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, that's a metaphor for black people. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong though. I don't Damn. like that. When they when they make these stories about our robots people, what yeah. do you think they base it it's off? It's about a race, bro. It's not yeah. it's, <laughs> it's why the writing is so strong. Is that why I liked it so much? <laughs> <laughs> you saw yourself in the robots. <laughs> right. Yep. Huh. <laughs> Glad does they that, got does right. Does that mean the detective was a light skinned nigga? He was black adjacent. <laughs> so Gesick the whole time was accepted, but not accepted because he's doing the work for them, but he's still not them. Yeah. That's yep. what I'm saying. He a house boy. This is even worse than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, man. Go, if you really go into the weeds in Pluto, <laughs> damn, you the... can pick a lot of shit out. Well, I went to the weeds, but they still weren't people to me because they were robots, which meant, you know. Wow. No. <laughs> missed the whole fucking point of the show. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this guy. But oh now that we make him black, it's like, whoa. You do belong on Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Holy you watched the creator yet, did you? Yeah, I watched it. You did? Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, it. it would be the same shit then, I guess, huh? Yeah. It'd be like, I didn't really care about that little girl because she a robot. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean it that way. Like, like that, I cared about the robots in uh, Pluto. But I'm saying I hadn't made them like. You didn't humanize them? No, I, mean, I humanized them, but they weren't black. 
Oh, I got you. Black That's an extra boy. level of humanity. You know, bracelets being despaired upon. So, just specifically to me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you make them black, then I get it immediately. It's like, oh shit, that's niggas. Like, I understand that a hundred percent. One of the niggas was real strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That so must have been Samson. <laughs> who Hercules? Yeah. So was Pluto. <laughs> so was Pluto the black man that became everything they wanted him to be, but then became too much for them to control. So they stopped mm. loving him, and he re- he re- rebelled. Mm, no, because they didn't know about Pluto for real. Pluto was a uh, homie's own thing. Yeah. 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 His own creation. You could True. you could kind of make the argument for for Gazek though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, for sure yeah. Gazek. Not so much Pluto. Yeah, damn. But anyway, that's fucked yeah. up. They liked them enough to keep tabs on them. Mm-hmm. You know the wildest part is the the head scientist dude was was uh what you call it Keith David Keith actor. David yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right we going way too deep in the weeds though. oh shit now <laughs> wait a minute. Look, you knew that voice immediately. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I thought about this halfway through the episode. And I was like, why do we give the award a name? Like how the Academy gives an Oscar? Like, mm. what would we call it? <laughs> the BBLs of 2023. We, get, we got a year to think of it for the next time. Protaku block list. BBL. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. The BBL award. <laughs> it's actually perfect. Bad as plot. <laughs> mm. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. Damn, this shit is crazy, yo. Like, no matter how hard you do your job, it's never good enough because you're a nigga. You're still, <laughs> you're still stuck on it. Right? You're about we to rewatch it tonight, aren't you? The third eye. Yeah. <laughs> you're sitting there like this. I, I like the sick, but now I, I get it even more. So now it's like, damn. I mean, I That's why win. he got shot down in the alley like that in front of everybody. Technically. <laughs> yep. There's no, and nobody saw it in the rain? All right. Right. <laughs> nobody cared. There was definitely other people on that street. Facts. Yeah. Right. Anyway, <laughs> even the two uh, the two war robot dudes, the 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 wrestler ones, the strong niggas. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what happens to our vets. Like you were tired from the navy, got PTSD and shit. And they just forget about your ass. And even the dude that was a part of the KKK, and <laughs> then decided <laughs> he was like, "No, I do like black people." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh wow! So is Astro Boy our hope? Is Adam our hope? Like the young black kid who, you know, he's going to make a better way. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> sure. Uh, well, let's wrap this up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that was uh, 2024 Brotaku Block Anime Awards. The BBLs. Or the BBLs, as it's uh, what's the L? Brotaku Block is. List. Oh, <laughs> awards. We're gonna carry that BBLs thing. We'll see. Yep. <laughs> it's a work in progress. You're right. Work I, in I progress. said like Oscar, and y'all went straight to BBL. Right. Pro Taku Block, block. BB. <laughs> the BB, BB makes awards. it. The L was the crazy part. <laughs> we can't just be handing out BBLs to people. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Twenty One Savage. I'm pretty sure he said he said in an interview he got he buys all his girls BBLs. I'm not completely against it. But... I mean, I get it, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh! But all right, well, um, when we post. We'll probably put the uh, categories into the post just so you know people see what we're voting on. But okay. Yeah. All right, it's been fun. Uh, you can catch us at brotakublock.com and brotakublock on. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, everything. Um, catch me at Jim Leader Brock on Instagram. Where can they find you at Tipzilla? Uh Tifron on my anime list and letterbox and blue sky. Oh, uh, and you can check out the movie podcast at Secret Group of Brown Kids at the movies. All right. What about you, Mighty Mauricio? I just want people to know the next time you're making a pot of coffee at work, think about that black man that you work nearby and make an extra cup for him too. Because he's got it harder than you. Is he making a pot of coffee? Wait, what? <laughs> February has 29 days this year. So That's 29 cups of coffee you need to add to your daily, not daily, but your monthly coffee making. Anyway, I'm on all social media.
what I'm saying is you already making a pot of coffee. Right. He can't drink out of that pot. He got to get. Oh, I mean, no, you, you no, know, because he's water. a robot, Tifron. He's not allowed. <laughs> he's not. He's not. Yeah. He can't drink from this pot. Okay. <laughs> Whites only. All right. <laughs> and remember, you might not be black, but black adjacent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> black adjacent is still not white. Anyway, where can they find you at, uh, Prince Petty? You can't and don't. <laughs> I like it. We'll catch y'all next time. Bye. 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 Yo! Yeah.